What's going on everyone? This is ODC. It's me and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the Star Wars The Black Series Kmart exclusive Kylo Ren on his Starkiller base. Uh, this is a really cool figure. I actually uh, picked this guy up from my good friend Rob's Rogues. Uh, if you want to check out his his channel, it's in the description box below. And uh, he hooked me up. He helped me out trying to find this guy. He was tough to find. Now he's becoming a little bit more and more common, to be honest with you. I think I went to my local uh, Kmart and there was around seven or eight of them. So I think they're just starting to pour in for the um, Thanksgiving shopping season and uh, the Christmas shopping season. They'll probably be getting more and more of these since they are a Kmart exclusive. I just feel like maybe Kmart, um, it's been taking them a while to um, sort of either replenish them if they did have them in stock before or just basically getting them in in general. Sorry if I'm a little stuffy, I'm just kind of getting over a little bit of a sickness here. Um, but uh, So bear with me there. Um, he does come with his uh, first accessory, which is the, uh, the hilt, the unbladed hilt. Which I thought was a nice little touch since we kind of got that with the first Kylo Ren. But it was a removable blade. So, And I, I will show the uh, differences between the two. Uh, it does come with a separate bladed uh, hilt here, and I got. I have to say, it looks much, much better than the than the single carded release, the non deluxe uh, base release. Um, I believe it was from Wave One. Uh, I like this this uh, saber much better. It looks so much better, but. Uh, Looks good, nice detailing. It's got the red dot on the bottom. So that's pretty cool. Looks pretty good for the most part. Just comparing these two together. A little bit of a different paint application on this than this, I would say. I'd say the top of the hilt is probably a little bit more black shading on this one than this one. But for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. Um, actually, you know what? Something I just noticed. This part of the hilt is not. This part of the hilt right here on both sides is not sculpted on this. This is just the a painted on blade. I just realized that. Look at that. You can see where the paint is missing. See that? Huh. I think that's rather odd. That they didn't sculpt this piece. And they just kind of made it the saber blade. That's very odd. But uh, he also comes with a Starkiller base. And I think it looks really good. Nice paint detail on the snow. Uh, it does come with a translucent style uh, plastic. It's a hard plastic. So, no issues there. There's no peg holes, which I always think, uh, I was, bleh, which I also think is a very interesting decision, seeing as he's supposed to just kind of fit in there, which he does. But sometimes he, I mean, if you have him in a, the wrong position or you don't position his feet properly, he will tend to topple over. Um, and him having two peg holes at the bottom of his feet I'm really surprised that they've decided not to put pegs in there. Uh, it's a very strange idea that they decided not to do that, but whatever. Um, I guess I don't. <laughs> I don't make the decisions at Hasbro. So, but I think the paint shading looks really good. Um, the overall sculpt looks pretty good. You can also see some other foot impressions right here over the uh, the original foot deep foot impression where his feet go. Uh, I think it looks really good. Um, so there's the accessories that he comes with. Now moving on to the figure here. I gotta, I have to say that I, I think I almost like this Kylo better than the original release, even though he does have um, some snow here and snow on the back portion. Uh, 
It would have been really nice to get a unmasked version since we have been revealed uh, that Kylo will be unmasked. Sorry about that pause. I had to sneeze really bad. I didn't want to do it on camera. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think it looks really good. Um, yeah, and like I said, it would have been cool if we could have gotten unmasked head. I think that would have really thrown this uh, exclusive over the top if we would have got a... Um, a, uh, an alternate head, an unmasked head for him. I think that would have looked really cool. But uh, they decided not to. And uh, there are some differences between the two Kylo Rens. And like I said, A, it's this lightsaber here. This is Series 1 Kylo Ren. And then they are standing next to each other. Uh, here's the blades. And as you can see, it's a huge difference. This is uh, Series 1. And then here's the uh, exclusive so much different I believe they're around the same height as far as blade goes hilt to hilt they're around the same height so that's good and obviously wave one had a removable and I'm pretty sure that this is uh, the same hilt and I'm gonna attempt to uh, put this blade on the exclusive Let's see if it'll work. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure this might be the same. Yeah, it's pretty much the same hilt from Series 1 because the blade does fit into it. So you're pretty much getting a unhilted or un, un, uh, unbladed saber from Wave 1. But it's nice to have an un, un, nice, uh, nice to have that option for the exclusive. Um, now the differences between the two Kylo Ren's are basically as goes. Um, the belt is painted differently. Now the, they're actually painted opposite of each other. If you see here, if we can get it to focus, uh, the inside portion of the belt is painted here where the outside portion of the belt is painted there. Um, I have seen pictures of Kylo Ren in the movie um, and none of his belt is painted. It's pretty much just all black. So I'm surprised that Hasbro even decided to paint this. Uh, but I think it actually looks a little bit better when it's painted, to be honest with you. I, I think I prefer it. I'm not sure which one I prefer, though. Um, the inside portion being painted silver or the outside. I'm almost leaning towards... Oh, man, I don't know. Uh, maybe the outside portion because it looks a little bit more weathered than the inside portion being painted, but that's just a little tidbit I thought it might po point out. The heads are exactly the same, so no difference there. The uh, plastic pieces right here for his, I guess if you want to call it, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, <laughs> raggedy cape uh, is the exact same mold. And uh, now we get to the differences here. Now he's got some painted snow on his, uh, the back portion of his cloak and also on both sides of the front so as you can see there and then we have some there and then the other differences are the boots have snow painted on them where wave one obviously does not so um I think it's a really cool, just, I mean, it's very small differences, but I think the differences kind of matter, and it comes with a nice base. So, I mean, even if you wanted to, you could display, um, if you wanted to go outside and you do, and you do get uh, snow in your area like I do, um, you could display him without his base or with his base in the snow. Um, and I think it might, let's see, I wonder how, uh, how well it would match up. Uh, being in the snow. Maybe I'll have to do an update video with him in the snow and show you how it looks with maybe a couple snow troopers. That would look pretty cool. But for the most part, I mean, uh, I think I might like the exclusive a little bit better because he also does come with a force hand where this this Kylo, Wave 1 Kylo, just kind of comes with another gripping hand. Um, so there's that. Also to note, that their uh, paint apps on the fingers for the exclusive are a little bit more of a 
um, glossy plastic or a glossy finish as opposed to the flat black that this is. So that's another nice little touch that kind of sets this a little bit better than the Wave 1 version. But uh, I would say, I mean, if, if even if you don't get the chance to get this exclusive, um, Wave 1 is still a really nice figure. Um, this is a beautifully done figure, and this is a beautifully done figure. I love both these figures, but if I have to choose one, I'm probably going to go with the exclusive just because I like the Saber better. Um, it also comes with an unbladed hilt, a nice display base, and it comes with a nice new force gripping hand, and it comes with this really cool um, paint paint application to give that... Uh, that snow look, like he's got snow all over his his cloak here, and then the boots too look really good, I think. Um, so overall, a solid figure, really good figure. I do like it a lot, and I'm probably just gonna have him displayed just how he was in the packaging. I think he looks really good. Um, Actually, I'll pause it really quick and I'll show you the packaging if, in case you're curious of what he looked like in the packaging. Okay, here's Kylo in his packaging. And uh, as you can see, it comes with a nice Woodlands look with Kylo, with an unhooded Kylo right here. And then it's got some Woodlands in the background for the, the big saber duel. And then actually in the background, this red background is supposed to be a woods area as well. It's just kind of in a red um, maybe to give off the effect that uh, the saber is lighting up the background. Uh, but as you can see, there's the hilt, there's the figure, and what he looks like. If you turn around to the side, it just says um, Kylo Ren Starkiller Base, and then it says Kylo Ren. And then on the back, it says a Dark Warrior Strong with the Force. Kylo Ren commands the First Order missions with a temper as fiery as an unconventional as his unconventional lightsaber excuse me on the side it does not have a number because it's an exclusive and we're pretty much used to that at this point um, i just i just want to say a note that i really do love this new packaging as much as people were giving it crap um, when it was first revealed oh my god i can't believe they're changing it, it looks like shit um, i like the numbers on the side um, i like the fact that you're getting um a it's almost like a, a, a clean, really nice clean look to the display of the figure. And if you, even if you just want to have these all set up in these nice displays and have your numbers to the side on your shelf and you're a mid on card collector, I think it looks a lot better for mid on card collectors since how many changes we got from the original two boxes, um, to be honest with you. I liked Wave 1 and 2 how they had their box set up. So if you wanted to lie them down, it would have the, the photo of the character on the top um, and uh, it would say Star Wars on it. It looked nice. And then Wave 2, they took that away and I didn't really like that. But this is nice. I like this box. So um, would I recommend this figure? I absolutely would. Um, definitely two thumbs up here. And um, yeah, I, hopefully um, you can find this guy if you don't have a Kmart in your area. I know they have been online. This is actually where I picked up my second one. I picked him up online. And uh, yeah, so um, happy hunting to all of you. I hope you guys enjoyed this review as much as I did. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always. And I will see you guys on the flip side.